Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a circle geometry proof. So we have the problem, let A, B, C, and D be points on circle O and assume that arc AB is congruent to arc CD. And we need to prove that chord AB is congruent to chord CD. So the first thing we want to do is let's just assume, so we assume that arc AB is congruent to arc CD on circle O. And we can do this because this information was given to us. So now the next thing we want to do is construct OA, OB, OC, and OD. So now we go over to our diagram and we construct these four line segments. And notice that all four of these line segments are radii. So what this tells us is that these four line segments are congruent since all radii on the same circle are congruent. So for our next line what we could say is we have that OA is congruent to OB which is congruent to OC, which is congruent to OD, since all radii on the same circle are congruent. So now the next thing that we could say, we could talk about angle measure. But one thing I like to do when I'm doing a proof of this type, the strategy is going to be to prove triangle congruence. So we just showed that these four segments here are equal in length. So now next we want to target these two angles. We want to target angle AOB and angle COD. So we'll just rewrite this here. This is circle O. So for the next line, what we want to say is we have angle AOB is congruent to angle COD and now the reason for this we could say that these two angles are congruent since central angles that intersect arcs of equal measure are congruent. So we'll just explain this part here in a second. So we have that central angles that intersect arcs of equal measure are congruent. Remember in the beginning we assumed that arc AB was congruent to arc CD. So what this tells us, let's say we call the measure of arc AB X. We know that if arc AB has a measure of X, then arc CD also has a measure of X and central angles are directly equal to the arcs that they intercept, so we could call these two angles here x as well, which tells us that these two angles are equal. So that was the strategy and the reasoning behind this step here. But now what do we have? Now for the next line, what we could say is, now we know that these two triangles are congruent. So we could say triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD. And the reasoning behind this, we could say, well, we could just initial this, we could say by side angle side. This stands for side angle side. And this is a condition for triangle congruency. If two triangles have the same consecutive side angle side combination, then those two triangles are congruent. So notice how these two triangles here, they share a pair of congruent sides followed by a congruent angle followed by a, another pair of congruent sides. So therefore these two triangles are congruent. But now this allows us to conclude this proof. So now we could finally say what we were trying to prove. This proves that chord AB is congruent to chord CD. And the reasoning behind this we could say 
CPCTC, which stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Once we know that two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding parts are also congruent. So this allows us to say that these two, cor that these two chords are also of equal measure. Okay, well this is going to conclude this circle geometry proof. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this video was helpful.